What's up and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to successfully enable engineering mode in your Mercedes vehicle. Um, now, if you are running an NTG 5, uh, 5 or 5.1 audio system such as this, then you should be able to follow these easy steps in order to uh, enable the engineering mode in your vehicle. Um, so the first thing you want to do is uh, make sure that the vehicle is in ignition mode 1. Um, and this is without pressing the brake pedal uh, when trying to um, put the ignition on. So you want to make sure that you don't have the brake pedal pressed. And if you're running um, a keyless go system, then all you really need to do is just press it once. If you have the known keyless go system, you want to uh, make sure that you rotate it clockwise just once. So we're just going to go ahead and press this once to put the vehicle into ignition mode one. Um, so we're going to go press that once, come up here, as we can see the vehicle is now in ignition mode 1. And what we're going to do on this hand side for the audio system is, it doesn't really matter which um, uh, option menu option we're in, uh, but the best option menu I would propose is probably um, to use the, the vehicle option right here. So go into your vehicle option, leave it in, uh, leave it in here, and then follow uh, a few steps that I'm going to recommend down here um, using the keypad um, to ensure that we're able to enable the engineering mode. Um, so I'm going to run through the uh, the keys that we need to press simultaneously. So you want to make sure you have your fingers. Um, on those keys ready to be pressed simultaneously and hold for around five seconds. I'm just going to set the camera down uh, whilst I perform that so we're able to see the keypad and um, the display here working simultaneously. Um, so as I mentioned we're going to be pressing three keys on this keypad here uh, in the center console and hold for around five seconds simultaneously until uh, the engineering mode um, is displayed. Uh, so the first key you want to have your finger on is the hang up call uh, button right here, uh, the red hang up, um, the red call button right here, um, and then we're going to press one and also the pound symbol right here. So um, let's press them all three at once for around five seconds now. Okay, um, and we can we can let go now. And as you can see, we now have the engineering mode enabled um, in our display right here. Uh, and in order to interact with this, we're able to use the uh, rotation wheel uh, right here within the center console. Um, and by uh, rotating clockwise, we'll go downwards and rotating uh, anti-clockwise, we'll go um, upwards. And if you wanna enter any of these menus, you just push it in. Um, um, and that should then take us into that sub sub menu. Um, now, by no means I'm advising this uh, for you to tamper with. This is for the engineers to sort of um, you know modify these settings, etc. Hence why the menu is hidden. This is purely for educational purposes um, and should be done at your own risk. Um, so let's let's carry on and. Um, go through the different options that we have here. Um, so we can get into the system mode by uh, pushing in the rotation wheel and that should display the sub menu right here for us. Um, and as you can see, there are a number of different options. Um, some of these options you should not really interfere with, but if you know what you're doing and, and you want to go through these options, they are available. So you're able to check your version information uh, by clicking on that, then going into the third sub menu that, that appears. And within here, you should be able to check the HU, uh, which will give you a number of different information right there. And then you can also check the uh, most device option right here, um, instrument cluster, and also the EMMC. Um, options right here. So um, to go back out, you just push the rotation wheel to the left to go back up uh, one level up to the sub menu, the second sub menu right here. Um, and then in here, you can do environment uh, informa information as well, the most network, the settings as well. Uh, so if you go in here, is a font display, test language ID, rest management, IC demo mode, etc. Um, once again, if you don't know what you're doing with these options, probably best not to interfere with. Um, there is the mirror link option. You can click onto this and it'll give you um, all the information right here. Um, there are some settings that you're able to enable and disable. 
Uh, but like I said, once again, if you don't really know what you're doing in here, then it shouldn't really interfere with these settings. Uh, so back out from that, uh, we can go into LVDS and click on that and it gives you a number of different options uh, to sort of um, adjust the system. Uh, but I mean, wouldn't really want to interfere with that either. Um, you have logging as well. So you have emergency event logging, statistical logging, enable log marks, etc. Uh, but these should be best left to um, the engineers who are actually working on on the vehicle during service, etc., and you have die code and a favorite keys as well. So we're gonna back out from here, then go through the radio. Once again, you're able to go within here and change the different um, different settings in here: the antenna, uh, your radio, HDFM, uh, AM, and the pre pre preset list. So you're able to modify all these settings and have them as your defaults when you go into your radio. Um, EMC measure once again. Uh, not really sure what this does, but um, if, if you know what it does, then go into it, otherwise stay out of it. Um, extension player, um, so that again just gives you some information about the in, uh, media interface. Um, nothing else really here to do, so back out. Uh, you got the telephone right here, uh, so this would be interfering with the telephone options um, within the media system right here. Um, there is a CarPlay option as well, but I don't really think this does anything other than just display some information, so we can back out of that as well. Um, and then you have the sound, so probably a useful feature. You want to go in and probably add just some of the sound settings um, from a, a default preset perspective, so it's always consistent um, every time you switch on the, the vehicle. Um, and you're able to do that within this menu right here. Uh, we also have the software download option. Uh, clicking on this, it will tell you to, um, if you if you want to start the software download. Um, I don't think this will work by clicking on yes, as you need a device. Um, I'm not sure what sort of device you would have any sort of software on, uh, but if you if there is something that you would be using to update the um, the infotainment system, then you would plug that in, come into engineering mode and go down to software download and then click yes to uh, enable that. Um, finally, we have the navigation um, navigation option right here. Um, and in here you can just see some live traffic, Navidata, TMC, uh, and these are the settings that you're able to sort of um, interfere with. And the variant coding is where um, you would essentially go in and modify some sort of settings um, which uh, you would be able to, um, I believe, activate a number of hidden features. Um, so as I mentioned for the variant coding, um, there are a number of other hidden um, features, etc., that you're able to enable. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll cover those under separate videos, uh, which will be linked under this video here and vice versa. It's just to keep the, the video short and relevant um, and this one is specifically for um, enabling the engineering mode. So I hope you guys have found this useful um, and if you have please give it a big thumbs up, uh, like the video, um, share the video if possible, any questions please make sure to put them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible and also check out um, the Mercedes um, hacks playlist as well, which has some other useful videos as well. Um, and until next time, peace out.